Joe, thanks for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate it. We're going to go to line number one. We're speaking with independent member of the House of Assembly, none other than Paul Lane. How are you, sir? I'm good, Jonathan. How are you going, doing this evening? I'm all right. Thank you very much. It's, that's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Jonathan, I wanted to talk about the fishery again. Um, before I do, though, I just want to put a quick shout out there. Uh, this is National Volunteer Week, and uh, certainly um, uh, I have uh, numerous tremendous community volunteers uh, within my district, and, and certainly we have, uh, you know, tremendous volunteers all throughout the province. So to anybody who volunteers, whether it be for, uh, you know, a, a non-profit organization, a service club, a church, a school, or just helping your neighbor, mm -hmm. thank you for what you do. We really appreciate it, and uh, we certainly couldn't uh, get by if it was not for the uh, tremendous dedication of volunteers in all of our communities. Fabric of society, truly. Thank you Absolutely. for those kind words. Now... Uh, uh, you want to talk about the fishery. What exactly do you want to discuss? Yeah, uh, I do, Jonathan. Uh, I just want to, uh, I guess, uh, update listeners. Um, um, I have uh, written the Premier, um, uh -huh. and uh, I have uh, requested that, uh, that he would establish an all-party committee uh, on the Newfoundland Labrador fishery. Uh, we have had all party committees in the past. Uh, we had it on the uh, shrimp, uh, northern shrimp with LIFO. We had it on uh, mental health and addiction. So uh, the president is certainly there. I think it's important uh, that we all work together, that all parties work together, that we put uh, any partisan stripes aside and so on uh, to work on these important issues. Um, what I would, what I'm suggesting is that uh, the all-party committee would be established. That they would uh, meet with the industry stakeholders. From that, uh, they would, uh, I guess, formulate a position paper, and then um, the United Group could present um, that position paper uh, to the federal government, uh, and and then and not just present it, not just simply here you go, send a report in the mail and forget about it, but to actually go up to meet to advocate and to continue to advocate. Once we have formed a united position, then we would all continue to advocate, and we would insist that our seven federal MPs uh, would be advocating for whatever position we uh, agreed upon uh, as a province. I don't know. Sounds like a, another opportunity to keep the chair warm in my, in my assessment. Uh, all party committees on particular issues such as LIFO uh, would certainly be uh, effective, but uh, a, an all-party committee on the fishery, being as big as it is, and requires a number of advocacy groups, which already exist, including labor. Uh, they're there. Why duplicate resources? Why tie up conversation time with people when there are already representatives that should be doing this? I believe it's called the Minister of uh, Fisheries and Lands now, the Ministry of Fisheries and Lands. That's where this should be. That's the person that should be meeting with the federal minister of uh, fisheries and oceans. The organizations that already exist, the unions which are in place, such as uh, FFAW, they're there. To me, an all-party committee in this, in this sense, I don't know, I respectfully disagree. Well, uh, and, and that's fine, uh, Jonathan. We all have the right to uh, to uh, respectfully disagree. That's mm -hmm. why it's called a democracy. And yes, I, uh, I certainly respect uh, your opinion. But I would say to you that uh, if we have these things in place now, uh, obviously they're not working because we continue to have, we continue to have issues. We continue to have concerns, and we continue to hear that issues are not getting addressed. And we have issues, whether to be issues around science. And by the way, I was glad to hear that there's going to be some more science done now. I guess uh, some of the pressure perhaps is paying off. Uh, or, for, or perhaps it was because there was an election platform that the federal liberals ran on, and they reintroduced scientists as, as early as they could. Yeah. So all these things were actually being done already. Well, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's interesting that it all just came out really this week on the COD, then it came out on the... Uh, on the Capelin, but I'm not complaining. I think that's a good thing. But uh, but there's issues around science. There's issues around uh, allocations. There's issues around seals. There's issues around the uh, offshore quotas. There's issues around foreign fishing vessels and lack of enforcement. They only get a slap on the wrist when they break the rules. Uh, you know, there's issues we hear about the body up system, bycatch, uh, vessel sizes, fishermen having to take vessels and make them unsafe by, by cutting uh, 10 or 15 feet off of a vessel and so on. So there are numerous things, and I guess what I'm saying, uh, Jonathan, is that we should be all pulling in the one direction. If we have these issues uh, that are outstanding... That Write letters to the Minister of Fisheries forever. and have them deal with it on, on, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I, I don't see it the point. Worked. It hasn't worked. Um, uh, you know, we have a history that shows that it hasn't worked. 
Uh, I'm not suggesting putting any major resources into this. All I'm saying is that we have a Minister of Fisheries, you're right, but we also have uh, a leader of the opposition. We have a leader of the uh, NDP party or designate, their critics and so on. Uh, all parties should be united on this important issue. We're all getting paid anyway. I don't think... I, 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 have, I have no problem, on a personal level, I have no problem being involved in any initiative to meet with people, to try to formulate solutions to, uh, you know, a position paper to present. I have no problem doing it. I'm getting paid. I'm on the payroll anyway. So why not utilize me? And I guess it's because you have to have to... Them. Oh, sorry. We're talking over each other. I, I guess it's because there's only so many things that an MHA can do and to be utilized for and resources that are out there. And if we're paying, as you say, if we're paying to have a Ministry of Fisheries, then they should be doing this job. All, all party committees? I don't know. I, I challenge you with this question, and you tell me uh, either tonight or, or in, the, in the future what exists in other provinces with respect to all party committees and uh, have they been effective in, in getting policies um, rammed through or changed or is the all party committee on LIFO uh, the shining example of, of how this can be done? I don't know. Pardon my ignorance, but how does it work in other provinces and territories? Do they have these, these all party committees that come in with a magic sword and, and change uh, policies? Well, I don't think, uh, Jonathan, that there's going to be, especially this is a federal issue, although we are a major stakeholder. So I don't, like, I'm not, I'm not naive enough to think that just because a few people, uh, some provincial politicians and so on, get together in Newfoundland and, and, and if they talk to, you know, and they would consult with industry, obviously, sure. I'm not naive enough to think. That uh, that Ottawa is just going to do uh, whatever we want. I mean, we've got over a hundred MPs. For, I mean, we have seven MPs from Newfoundland and Labrador. Right. We have a hundred and some odd from Ontario. We got seventy or eighty or whatever we got from Quebec and so on. Mm -hmm. So we're outnumbered at the best of times. So I'm not naive enough to think that our best interest is is what you know is going to be the priority of the day. But I do know that uh, that I think that we're better off if we are working together to have a united front, a united position, and to maintain that position uh, with Ottawa, as opposed to having everybody going off in their own direction yep. uh, or going off in no direction. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's the case here. I think everybody's uh, advocating for uh, the fishery, quote-unquote, in terms of our 40 members of the House of Assembly. So maybe what we should do is eliminate it all parties, uh, and therefore we can get this work done. Say, say again? Just... just elect an MHA and uh, don't elect parties. Uh, that, that, to me, would be the, the best solution. I, well, listen, that's a discussion for another <laughs> day, and I, it, and I, it sure I is. Agree with you on that but one. I don't think you'll find any member of the House of Assembly or anyone, frankly, working in the bureaucracy who would be against improving mental health services or who would be against uh, uh, making sure that we get what is ours, quote unquote, in, in the fishery. These things, these notions exist, and, and mm -hmm. you know. I therefore, I, I guess what, all I'm, all I'm frustrated about Paul Lane, and maybe I'm taking it out on you because we're having this conversation. But what I'm frustrated is, is there's too much talk already. We I have agree. a Ministry of Fisheries and Lands. If I you agree. have specific issues, do what you do. Write a letter to the Premier, call into these shows, and raise these issues. But let go through the proper channels. All party committees. It's just. We're just splitting our efforts here, in my in my assessment. Yeah, listen, uh, I understand. I understand what you're saying. I guess all I'm saying is that uh, it hasn't worked to date. We have seen examples where we have utilized an all party committee, mm -hmm. utilizing members, as I said, that uh, have been duly elected, that are getting paid anyway, uh, to to work together mm -hmm. on issues of common good. And I believe that this is an issue of common good that we should be putting our, you know, like I said, park your partisanship at the door, and let's all work together. Let's let's figure out what is our position going to be yeah. as a province uh, that we can all agree to, you know, reach some consensus with, and then we would advocate uh, on, a united, uh, on a united front. That's, that's, all, that's all I'm suggesting. And uh, I think how how different is that from voting on a bill in the House of Assembly, though, Paul? How different is that from voting on a bill in the House of Assembly when, when all people provide support? I mean, isn't that isn't that part of the process already? Why do we need another bloody position paper? Well, listen, if you want to talk about the House of Assembly, I mean, the reality of it is that the House of Assembly is that when it comes to a bill, yeah. that the government creates the bill, mm -hmm. and whatever they put in is passed as is. I've seen very very little, if anything, in terms of amendments. I've seen. I've seen lots of bills go through the House of Assembly, and this was with the past administration and the current one. That's a great point. Uh, where, where, where a bill go, where they present a bill, and you might agree with uh, a lot of the bill, 
But there may be uh, issues, there may be concerns, there may be oversights and so on. Mm -hmm. But if you bring that forward, will you see it change? Absolutely not. And they get the majority and they just vote it through as they did because either if they thought it may, maybe... Uh, you know, maybe they didn't think about it, and they don't want to give it to say that an opposition member actually thought of something that they didn't think of, or whatever the reason might be, yep. but everything gets bulldozed through. So, no, it doesn't work in the House of Assembly. That's a big problem as well. And that's, that's food for I thought. Should be a, that's why I think in the House of Assembly, quite frankly, that there should be a, um, a um, an all-party committee, if you will, that would be reviewing legislation before it ever got, seen, got to the floor, at least then, all of, a lot of these issues could be ironed out. Not a time for every minor bill, but certainly anything that's significant or controversial. <clears throat> all right, we'll and, pick it up next time, us, though. Put us all to work. That's what we're getting paid for. Put us all to work. Doing I, it. I, I, I like that. And I listen, like the thought I'm of that. Now, a quarter to ten at night, and I'm talking to you. I'm here in my office, and I don't mind doing this. I'm getting paid to do it, and I got no problem working doing it. And I got no problem working on this issue either. Uh, and I think it's important that we all work together. All right. Well, listen, you have a safe drive home, and thanks for the call. And uh, as always, a, a wonderful and spirited debate. Thank you, Absolutely. sir. Absolutely. Have a good night, John. You too, my all friend. very best to you, my friend. Cheers. Bye-bye.